Hey guys, welcome to your Tarot Talk Tuesday. Let's go ahead and get into it. What messages do you have for the... Wow, okay. Cards are jumping. I can't even get it out. So you have the Page of Cups here. Beautiful energy to start off with. It seems like there's somebody here that wants to come forward and wants to have a conversation or wants to communicate something. This is a message of love. This is also um, somebody that I feel like has been admiring you from afar. This could also be a surprise. So somebody may have some type of surprise message for you. They want to communicate. They want to reach out. Um, I also feel like with this energy, you may be in a more sensitive energy where you may have a heightened sense of vulnerability. And I also feel like this energy is kind of swirling around you because it's coming forward as a very emotional energy or an energy where you're trying to really understand what's occurring. Because I keep getting overwhelmingly that you know that there's something more to come, but you're not exactly sure what is coming. It's almost that energy where there's a level of anxiousness or a level of angst to you, but everything is the same or everything is stagnant, but you can feel energetically that something is moving or something is changing. For a lot of you, this is either a faded meeting, a faded destiny. Um, for some of you, this is an increase financially, like you may be receiving money financially that comes out of nowhere, but I feel like there is gonna be a message where something is changing. This is a part of your destiny. Two, two, two may be significant. Eight, thirty, one. Thirty, two may be significant. The numbering. Ten may be significant, or one may be significant. But what I'm getting here is that this is a part of your fate. For some of you, this is money that's coming in that's been owed to you. But also, too, there's some type of significant fluctuation that is coming in in a positive sense for you. For some of you, if you're going through any type of court issues or court battles or any type of um, legalities, those are going to go in your favor. And I feel like whatever you've been stressing about or worried about, that's also going to dissipate. Because for some of you, I see you making an offer to somebody, but it not being accepted. Or even if this is like, you have, you have a decision to make here. And whatever decision you make, it is going to go in the right direction. AW may be significant. AF, um, CP, PC, whatever it may be. Um, but I feel like there is a significant change that's coming. And it's funny because we have the star at the bottom. This is something that is coming out of nowhere is also what I heard. And it's something that is owed to you energetically or spiritually or because you're doing the work. What do we need to know about this Wheel of Fortune energy? Like somebody is changing or there's a complete change that's coming ahead. Especially if you're dealing with a Virgo or somebody that's been operating similarly to a Virgo. So in the sense of if you have somebody that's been hot and cold or relatively quiet, this is somebody that's really been taking the time to process and to think exactly what is needed in order to progress or in order to move things forward. Whoever this person is, this has been somebody that's been holding on to an offer and it's been stagnant. It's been stagnant energy. And I feel like you've had to be very patient because it's slow moving. This is somebody that moves at a very slow rate. But that energy is changing and it's changing very quickly. I feel like by the end of August, you're going to see how quick things are progressing or how quick... Things are either moving forward in a new relationship or in a relationship in general that's kind of having a facelift and moving forward. That's coming in very strongly. 10-8 may be significant also, or 8-10, 81. I feel like 
there's somebody here where you know. For a lot of you, you've had to rely on a level of inner strength here. And I feel like whatever this situation is, either with you and your person, it also could be the fact that there's been this devil energy, this external influence, whether that's with you at work, whatever it may be, it seems like there's been a heavy energy here that's been either holding you back from what your true past is or your true path, P-A-T-H. S K S P P F. I don't know why I just heard like Phil. Devin. Daniel. But there's something here with this energy that I feel like you've had to be relatively strong with. Because to me, there seems to be a lot of people that are in your energy. Now, this doesn't this doesn't even have to relate to spiritually. This has to relate to just your life in general, that there's been a lot of external energy or a lot of external influences that are watching from a distance or watching from afar and watching you change. There's something about your energy that's changing. And I feel like whoever this person is, they don't like the change. Significant Capricorn energy, Leo, you may be a Virgo Leo cusp or a Capricorn Sagittarius cusp. That's also coming in. But I feel very strongly 415 may be significant. You've had to be very strong because of your past. I also feel like for some of you, there's somebody here that wants to come forward and show you something or show you some type of evidence in order to stop your forward progression or in order to stop you from moving forward. Whoever these people or this external influence is, they're very focused and very fixated on whatever you're doing. It's weird because this is even coming in as like family, almost like a cousin, a sister, a brother, a mother, a whatever. Somebody is very jealous at your growth. And it's something about the fact that you're not talking about or you're not communicating to what you're doing. There's an energy right now also with you, this makes sense, where you're kind of putting your head down and you're just, I just hear I'm getting to work. And you're focusing on what you need to focus on. But in the process of you focusing on what you need to focus on, and there's all this change and there's all this growth that is occurring, but I feel like for a lot of you, you're not seeing the change and you're not seeing the growth as of yet, but you feel something is coming because it is. Right now, I feel like they want you to get out of your head and pay attention to your surroundings. There's something here about your surroundings that they really want you to open your eyes up and be present or be privy to. It's something about being in the present. It's something about changing the way you were in the past where you're getting out of your head. It's no longer this naive energy. It's no longer this energy of, you know butterflies and rainbows and wishes but this is an energy of you really taking control of the past i just keep hearing hearing you're the narrator so for some of you you could even be narrating a book or even a like recording a voice recording because intuitively I feel like for some of you, you know that with, with this freedom coming in, there is a level of restriction that's trying to come in to knock you off your path. And I feel like the external influences that are around you, they're obsessed with your energy because you keep winning. It's something about the way you're winning. Even if you're sitting back going, I'm not really winning. That's not the perception. And if you're sitting here telling thinking you're not winning that's the reason you're not winning is because your mindset is broken because there's a lot of positive energy coming but this is about you being mentally tough but also being able to see through um the facade or see through um the lies because somebody here wants to try to control you 
This could even be somebody that's trying to control your money that's like associated to you, whether it's an ex, whether it's you sitting here saying, listen, I need to leave because this isn't working. I just get very strongly that there's a lot of outside attention that's paying attention to you. This is also people that are saving screenshots of you um, or if you're posting certain things or watching certain things, especially on social media, there's somebody here that's like um, very much like in your business. Creepy kind of. For some of you, it's because they view you as a star or they view you as something very special and they feel like you're going to obtain something that they want. Why is this external influence and this devil energy coming out heavy? But really quick, before I get to this, this strength energy, this is like telling you, listen, okay? <laughs> Make sure you wake up and you eat your Wheaties, you eat your breakfast. There's something here about... um. It's funny, like Tony the Tiger, like you're very, very independent right now, but also be careful because whatever is coming in here, you have to make sure that your ego doesn't get inflated and that it stays at the right place, that it is in a balanced energy because whoever this is, they're going to try to throw you off this balance. You're way too balanced for them. Four is half of half of eight. You're having a lot of change in your life right now because you buckled down and because you worked hard. Because despite whatever you were going through, you were able to focus and fixate on what was important and what was um, needed in the time. That's what's creating this change. Whoever this other energy is, they also may be struggling financially where money is not coming in. And for some of them, they feel like it's your fault. That's not for all of you. That's for some of you, that they believe that it's your fault that their finances have stopped, regardless whether that's them thinking you did some type of spell work. Which I think is crazy, but then at the same point in time, there are people that do do that. So we do have to equate for that. I also think that a lot of times it's easier for people to sit there and say, oh, the collective did this in order to justify why their life is falling apart instead of their life falling apart because they suck or because they're not living in their truth or because they've done things in the past that are of not of the most high here because there's somebody that's having this level of judgment for trying to tie your hands behind your back why are they fixated on the collective right now why is there a heavy fixation i just get because you're winning Page of Swords, because they're watching. It's like that DJ Khaled, like, all I do is win, 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 no matter what. It's like something about you where no matter whatever they throw at you, no matter whatever this these people do, it could be a group of people, it could be two people, it could be different people working against you, not knowing the other person is, because I feel like this is an energy where it's coming from multiple angles, For some of you, this is your neighbors that are paying very close attention to you. I also get that for some of you, and I don't like to be negative, but I'm going to be honest. So sometimes in the readings, if they're not rainbows and sunshines, but there is a level of grit to it, people don't like that. But for me, I have to be authentic to what I'm reading and be authentic to you guys because it's my moral compass. And the reality is negative does happen, especially when you're on this upswing of positivity. It feels like this energy wants to come forward and knock you down a couple of pegs. This is coming in as Libra or Aries energy. They're very focused and very fixated on what you're doing and it's the minute details. For some of you, it's 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 even like the way that you do your hair. If you get your hair done or if there's something different, they know about it. This is also somebody that's spreading a level of gossip. This could even be work time gossip. But the one thing that they're telling me, it's funny. Do you see this? Divine assistance, the chariot and divine intervention. These people are giving enough rope in order for them to hang themselves in, in a negative position, right? Sometimes you have to allow somebody 
to dig dig the hole and for them to jump in it. So there's this energy here where somebody is very focused and fixated because they feel like either you're being quiet, why are you being so quiet? Why did things change? Or there's a change in your pattern. I feel like right now, if I was you, I would just, if you usually take the same way home every day, I would change it. I would break up your routine right now. Because I do, I feel like you're being watched very closely, but you're being watched because some people are just curious as to how you're able to accomplish everything. But also for some of you, somebody is very focused because they cannot control your narrative anymore. They don't have the same impact on you that they would before. This could be somebody that is doing spell work with temperance and the four of pentacles definitely coming in as that type of energy. I also feel like it's like this person is trying to humble you. I don't know why I get that, but there's something here about wanting to humble you. Wanting to bring you back down to earth and 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 remind you that you're like them for some for somebody like that's the message because I feel like certain people are breaking free of certain karmic chains or certain karma or there's certain cycles that are being completed, especially with that full moon in Aquarius. A lot of things are breaking apart and a lot of things are dissipating. There also may be somebody here that's very worried if you knew or you know that they're lying to you about something pertaining to work. Like they're worried about this. Nine of Swords, they're really in their head. Because they feel like when they talk to you, you see right through them, right? Like look at, look at the star card. Even though the star card has the glasses on, they still can see through. There's something here about you seeing through somebody's facade or you seeing the truth. This is a really interesting energy. What do we need to know? What are they what are they so focused on when it comes to the collective? Temperance. Do you see the fact that temperance has come out twice? That's significant. They're very curious as to how you keep balancing out your energy. You're somebody that you get hit and you get right back up. You get hit and you get right back up. They're curious as to what exactly you are doing in order to balance your energy. This is also... They're, they may feel like, like I said, whoever this person is, they may be justifying their actions towards you by saying you're doing something to them. Because I'm getting it's a level of justification. For others of you, this person is very fixated on you and they're watching you because they are hopeful that you and them are going to come to like a good place where you're, you're able to kind of harmonize your connection. This is somebody that also has been working because for some of you, it's multiple people. For others of you, it's one or the other. You know your narrative. You know your story. Somebody here may be a bartender or a cocktail server or a waitress or in the um, service industry, whether that's um, Uber, Lyft, um, nurse, um, restaurant. It's something about you being around a lot of people. Like whoever this person is, or if you're going out more and you're 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 going out getting drinks or you're going out and having a good time, somebody's like worried about them not being a part of it. And I feel like this is somebody in the past where maybe you've tried to incorporate them, but but they weren't ready or they had certain restrictions that stopped them from being, um, you know, joining. But this is different. 
this is somebody that wants to achieve harmony and they're looking forward to seeing you or to talking to you or to having some type of conversation. It's a lot of Sagittarius energy, which I think is very fascinating. Jupiter in Sagittarius, which is a beautiful energy. Um, double here, right? This is all about change. This is all about um, growth, right? Jupiter is about luck. It's about expansion, but it's also about a lot of abundance. And then that's also paired with Saturn. So this could be somebody that you walked away from. Or this is somebody that's getting ready to walk away from going back and forth between making you an offer and not. Because to me, this is somebody that wants to work on things with you. They want to make amends here. For some of you, this is coming in as um, Capricorn energy as well, but it's Capricorn energy that is taking, they're, they're tired of the restrictions and they're finally taking a level of action, a level of, um, they have a level of determination when it comes to whatever is restricting them. So they're no longer looking at the restrictions as something that is holding them back, but it's something that's progressing them forward. For some of you, this is somebody that's walking away from a long-term relationship in order to make things work with you. This is also um, somebody in work that's been kind of like tempering, um, tampering with your energy. This is also them um, either getting caught or you being given credit for the work that you're doing. Especially at work, you have somebody here for a lot of you that's very focused on what you are doing. What's happening, what you're doing, what the narrative is. But you want me to be honest? I feel like there's a lot of attention because you're changing. If you were somebody that resonated with a group, it's now you're resonating as an individual. If you're somebody that was kind of a loner, it's like now you have friends. It's like something here where the, the situation has flipped or the situation has changed in your um, situation. You may be a life path 33 or three may be significant. Six may be significant as well. H M H P T M. But this is coming in as, I feel like for some of you, this is a sacrifice that's being made where a third party is being let go of. And you don't even realize this. There's somebody here that's very focused on you. On very focused on doing the right thing and coming forward and making you um, an offer. This is also somebody that I feel like needed time to think. It's funny. We have double Hierophant energy here. It's like this person is able to see things. They're able to open their eyes and see the truth. There's something here about the truth being illuminated, that they're no longer in the dark here. This could even be with their spirituality. It can be over a love situation where they're acknowledging that they love you, but they're also acknowledging that they have to have a level of strength in order to combat whatever the other energy is in order to be with you or in order to make something work. What do we need to know? Yeah, this is somebody that I feel like they could have recently lost their job or finances are an issue, but they're not communicating everything to you. So while they see you doing very well, you succeeding, this is somebody that's on the opposite side of, of the wheel. They're on the bottom side. They're not on the top. And aside from that, this is somebody that really does miss you. This is somebody that wants you. This is somebody that wants to talk to you. But I also feel like this hangman energy is an energy where they were going back and forth, where they were playing a lot of games. And I feel like you played the games for a period of time or you did things their way, but their way is no longer working. So you're being required here to have a level of strength. 
Five, five may be significant. You may be a life path five. Heavy fives, right? Temperance is five, five of pentacles. Five, five. Temperance is twice. 10, 10, you may be seeing 10, 10 a lot or 10, 5 or 10, 15. But I feel like this is an energy where somebody feels like if they don't come forward and express their truth to you, that they're opening the door for somebody else to come in. And I also feel like with this person, they're worried about the karma, but the, their karma is actually losing you because what comes around goes around. And I feel like this is somebody that's very worried about what's occurring. This is also somebody, my family isn't like yours. That's why I always hesitate to bring you around my family. Or this is somebody that's really thought about, you know, introducing you to the family or thought about what it would be like. For you guys to be together, whether your family is more put together and theirs isn't. I feel like also with this person, you really helped somebody acknowledge their issues. I realize I have attachment issues. It's attachment to negative things, but it's also attachments to things that they um that maybe that they weren't ready to like let go of and i feel like for you there's something about you even if you're a parent it's about your healthy dynamic or you may they may view you as somebody that has a healthy dynamic with your children with your family with your friends whatever it may be and i feel like it scares this person this is also somebody that may be acknowledging that whoever they chose in the past, that their, their family or the way that they were raised, it's bringing a heavy emphasis onto um, their connection. I realize I've been attracting relationships similar to my parents. So if they had an unhealthy relationship where two people didn't love each other, but they stayed together because that's what they're supposed to do, they, they're doing that. I also feel like with this person, they're beginning to understand that whatever boundaries you've recently set up, it's making this person acknowledge the reasons why they pushed you away. And there was something here about you being right, about something that they needed to work on, and about how comfortable they are with you to the point where it scares them. It makes them anxious. For some of you, this is somebody that has a mommy wound. Even if they're good with their mom now, there's an energy here where they're beginning to acknowledge that their their past their 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 there is a past issue with a feminine energy and that's why there's a level of emotional distance because i feel like whoever this person is when they're not emotionally connected to somebody it's easy for them to deal with them except when it comes to you there's these emotions that they can't deny and it's because this person really does trust you and I also feel like there's something about your energy that's been very healing. And it's making them acknowledge like the fact that they don't want a relationship like the one in the past. There's something here about, for some of you, this is also somebody that could be going to therapy. I just feel like whatever is going on here with this person, they have a level of trauma with their family that you may you may never realize. And I also feel like too with this person, I feel like they're kind of ashamed at how they treated you. 
It's like they really do feel like you were put in their life to show them what a happy um, relationship is. Because I do get that this is somebody that's completely in this energy. Let's see if I could get this in the camera. But there was certain things that you were right about that I feel like this person needed to work on. And if this person was not working on those things, it's like you worked on them. So because you worked on them, things began, be, began, woo, began to change or to evolve or to shift. But part of this karma, it's generational karma. It's generational things that are keeping this person bound and an energy that they may not be 100% comfortable with. But I feel like there's a lot of divine intervention. For some of you, this is a grandma energy, a grandmother or an aunt energy or a mother energy that's coming forward. This is somebody that's passed on. Um, they could have passed on recently or within the last five to 10 years. But there's something here about a clock, about um, time is ticking. And they know exactly what needs to be done in order to, excuse me, forward, like make this move forward. Because right now, until the end of the year, there's not meant to be any type of stagnant energy. There's something here about the cycle needing to change with you and this person, for some of you, you're really meant to marry this person and solidify this relationship in the 3D. For those of you guys that work with this person or you have business with this person, 9-10 may be significant or 10-9 financially. There's a lot of financial abundance that comes with some type of business relationship, but it's funny because it's coming in as like business and pleasure. You never mix business with pleasure, but it's something about the two of you coming together that really like tie everything, um, make something one. I also feel like this is a past life energy, heavy Virgo energy. This is somebody that's really, really studying you, trying to understand exactly what your wants and needs are so that they can better assist in whether or not they can be that person for you because I also feel like whoever this energy is, they don't want to hurt you. And they're also opening their eyes to see what they've done. See, there's somebody here that's in a place where in the past, they didn't want to acknowledge the sacrifices you were making. See how the eyes are closed on the Hierophant? They didn't want to listen to what you were doing or listen to what you were saying with this person, they were okay being stuck because it required them to change or required them to make certain adjustments in their life that I feel like this person just wasn't ready to do, which is okay. Just because we're ready to take on the world like pinky in the brain doesn't mean this person is. This person is moving at a very methodical level. They're not gonna take certain leaps of faith or certain jumps or certain... um certain major movements until they're 100% positive that you feel the same way that they do. But also with this person, they were not opening their eyes up to the truth, where now this person is open. This person is acknowledging the strength that you have and the strength that they have within in order to make those adjustments, in order to balance out their energy, because this person is acknowledging it's more than just a religious energy, it's a spiritual energy that's between you. And that you've had a level of compassion for this person while they were not completely awake. And to believe it or not, as many things as this person felt like you guys were opposites with or that you guys were different on, they're beginning to see that you and them actually have more of a shared belief system than what they were willing to accept. But that's because they weren't willing to open their eyes and accept what was right in front of them. This is also somebody that's getting um, a level of guidance 
from a past loved one. I feel like on your side, there's a feminine energy that's assisting on their end. It's a masculine energy that's assisting. It's, it's helping this person build their confidence and it's helping their, this person um, be able to have the strength to go after what they want. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that, that's scared to fail. But failure is kind of a part of it. Eights may be significant. Eights are all about change. Eight, eight, eight. The lovers are here. You guys are going to be receiving communication from this person. Judgment in the world. There's some type of major moment that you don't see coming that's being orchestrated by, by your angels, by your guides. Let's see what's going on in the extended. By the way, if you haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, let's see because I'm going to focus on love and romance because the reality is that's what everybody cares about. Jeez, this guy wants to come out all the time. I was asking what your person's energy is. And it's funny because <clears throat> as I'm trying to talk, it's like somebody doesn't want me to say this. Whoever this emperor is, they're using a sense of discernment. I feel like, and there's an additional emperor energy. There's, there's dueling emperor energies here. So you may realize that you have more than one person here that wants to stand up and wants to take control of a situation pertaining to you. I'm also getting though, what you see is not what you're going to get, that there's a lot more going on underneath or behind the scenes that you may realize or you may notice especially when it comes to this emperor energy, like they're up to something. But this is somebody that's trying to come in and regain, I feel like, a sense of power. What do we need to understand about the external energy? What do we need to understand about this external energy that's coming in? The world in reverse. Okay, I'm going to put it upright, but the world is in reverse, which is a weird energy. This is somebody, the external energy has something to say, but I don't know if it's the truth. It's like the external energy doesn't want to allow something to end or allow a conclusion to finish is what I'm gathering what action is the collective's person taking to remove any obstacles or any issues or any boundaries? What, what, what action? Temperance. It's funny because we keep seeing temperance. So this is about them balancing something out in their day-to-day -day life or balancing out some type of energy. But I feel like it's an energy from their past. This can be an energy that maybe they um, they withheld from you. But they're working right now on alchemy and on healing. It's also healing. They're healing from some type of energy here. Healing from a past heartbreak. Healing from um, some type of wonky energy. What is this what does this emperor feel the block is? What do they feel the the real block is with the collective on their end? Baby steps. Okay, so for some of you this could involve children. Um or this is just there's somebody that moves at a very slow pace. This also could be somebody that's very involved with their family. We're going to take a deeper dive into exactly what this is, though. And by the way, we have four more cards to pull. All of this will be available on the extended, and the extended is available on Vimeo. The link for that will be in the comment section below. But it's great if this reading resonates and you want to take a deep dive into the way that this person is thinking. I do like that they're in emperor energy though. And I also feel like the fact that they're taking action 
in balancing and in healing and in moderations, this could also be somebody that's pulling back on their drinking or pulling back on some type of substance um, issue is also what I'm gathering. What is this person, um, what do they feel the need to um, express to the collective? What, what, what does the collective need to know that this person needs to tell the collective? <laughs> the emperor? I don't think that that's a coincidence that we have. This person needs to tell you about what they're doing and why they're doing it because they need to explain this logic, this temperance, where this balance is coming in or why they made certain decisions that they made. There's some decision that they made. I feel like this person made a decision pertaining to your connection I also want to figure out what this judgment is or what this judgment moment was when it comes to you. Because there's some type of significant moment where this person knows. It's this inner awakening. It's this understanding of what was hidden. It's something here that was hidden with that high priestess. Wow. I'm really excited for this one. Because what you guys don't see is I feel like there's a significant ending that's occurring. And again, with that high priestess and the moon, subconsciously, I feel like you feel it, but you don't know what it is exactly. That's why it's like it's an exciting energy to me. What does the collective not see coming? What do they not see coming? What do they not see coming with this person? What do they not see coming with this individual? Okay. The Four of Cups and the Six of Cups. This is somebody that's very emotional over you. Um, this also can be you being upset too because it is. I'll have to figure this out in the extended But I feel like both you and this person want to ground the relationship with one another and they want like a new start. What's the collective's advice here? What's the collective's advice here? Somebody wants to go back to like, go back to one, go back and start over and have a redo. They're also anxious with you because they feel like you're, there's something about you where I also feel like they're not in control when it comes to your energy. What's the collective's advice right now moving forward romantically with this person? Justice. Okay. Um, I kind of like this energy. It's something about being very balanced and not jumping to conclusions, but having a balanced heart space and mind. So I'm going to dive into all of this in the extended. We clarify each one of these. We pull Oracle messages. It's great. If this reading resonates, it's it's a very, um, the best way I could explain the extendeds is we get very like down in the dirt, nitty gritty. We really kind of uh, crack the Da Vinci code, I feel like, in the extended. So for those of you guys that are interested, there will be a link um, below where you guys can click and it will take you straight to the extended on Vimeo where you guys can watch it. Um, this is a lot of significant energy. You have mostly here major arcana energy. So with major arcana energy, these are changes that are occurring that are meant to happen along this path. And it's something here where I feel like this external energy, they're unable to close some type of cycle. And I also feel like there's some type of gnarly karma that's coming for them because they were lying about something. They may have even came to you. Look, I can't make it up. They were lying about something, this external energy, and they're getting caught up with this hierophant. So something is changing. So with that being said, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. It means the world to me. Those of you guys that are coming over to Vimeo, let's roll. Click on the link.